Before we can start using PIMCore, obviously, the first thing that we need to do is install it. The only prerequisite for this is that you have Docker set up on your operating system. I will not go through the, the tutorial of how to install it because it's um, pretty simple. If you need any help, you have lots of YouTube videos where you can check that out. So let's get started. Thankfully, PIMCore has us covered when it comes to the installation process using Docker. First, go to Google and type in get PIMCore. It will lead you to this page. Go back here to check out all of the repositories. Uh, as you can see, we have the demo and the skeleton repositories here. This is because when you're installing PIMCore, you can either install the demo version or the skeleton. The demo version comes with a lot of other packages and basically a pre-made e-commerce site. Uh, whereas the skeleton version is, is what you're actually going to use when creating a new project, a new blank project. But since this is going to be a tutorial, I'm going to install the demo version. So if you go to the repository on the bottom, you will see the steps that you need to follow to install it. So let's start with that. We're going to copy first this part here. You can go into your IDE of choice or just open up a terminal in a folder where you would like to install your project. So I'm going to paste what we just copied, the command. And as you can see here, as the second to last parameter, you have pimcore slash demo. If you wanted to install the skeleton version, version that I mentioned, or should I say the blank project, you would type in skeleton instead of demo here. And as the last parameter, you would put the name of your project. In this case, we're going to put in lecture demo and press enter. This is going to start the installation process. This could take a while, depending if you ever installed PIMCore before it. So let's just wait this out. Now that we've successfully made our project, uh, we need to CD into the actual project that was made. In my case, I need to CD into the lecture lecture demo folder as the that was the second step. As the first step, we need to first run this echo. We're going to run this to find out uh, what user ID and what group ID we're dealing with. Depending on your operating system, you might see different numbers here. And this is going to be needed when editing these, uh, this Docker Compose YAML file. In my case, it is a thousand and thousand, just like it was here. But since it's commented out, we need to remove the comments everywhere where it's uh, mentioned. An additional thing that I also do is for the Nginx container, I change the port from 8080 to 8080. The reason for this is because my 80 port is generally being used. I like to change it because this container will not be able to start without changing this and just save the file. The next thing that we need to do is to start up all of our containers. And this is by using uh, the following command, docker compose up. So let's start it up. This might take a while, depending if you have the latest image for PIMCore installed. Since I do, it didn't take long at all. And the next thing that we need to do is actually install PIMCore. You can just paste this command and you will be prompted to enter the admin username and the admin password. These are the username and password which are going to be used to log into the PIMCore administration. So I'm going to type in admin and as the password, I'm also going to be putting in admin since this is only going to be used locally. If you're using this on a server, of course, you can put something safer or you can change it uh, later on. This will install PIMCore with the given settings. Do you want to continue? Yes. This can take up to 20 minutes. Um, in my case, it usually takes up to like maybe two minutes and I'll be back when it's done. 
So the installation of PIMCore has finished. And now if we go to our local host at the port 8080 and refresh it, we can see that uh, the site is now available. At first when the site is loading, it could take a bit longer than it usually will. The reason for this is because PIMCore, as you can see now, there's no image here. PIMCore is actually generating thumbnails for all of the assets that are showing on the page. I mean, if we refresh it, it, refresh, it refreshes a lot faster, but you have a lot of demo content already available in, in the demo, which is really, really great. And in the next part, we're going to go through the actual PIMCore administration. Hope the video helped you. And if you want to learn more about PIMCore, you can check out my Udemy course called Learning PIMCore from Zero to Hero, where I will show you all of the steps from creating a project, buying and setting up a server, as well as deploying your project. Hope to see you there.